my channel. So today I have been to Aldi and I've got a bit of an Aldi haul for you. Um, I managed to get lots and lots of good stuff. You can see my receipt is very long. So this came to £70.97 altogether and I will show you what I got for the week. Also stick around to the end and I will go through our meal plan of what we'll be eating on the WW plan this week. Okay, so I'm going to start over with the fresh items that we've got. Um, so I've got a bag of the baby leaf salad, another pack of the green beans. We eat a lot of these. Um, they're really good price in Aldi, actually. I managed to get my hand on some of the baby cucumbers. We have some carrots, uh, a mango, which was on special buys this week. We also have some broccoli, a butternut squash, as I'm going to be making a butternut squash soup for lunches this week. We have two packs of the tomatoes. I've got another one hiding under here somewhere. Um, just one pack of the raspberries. I did also look at the strawberries, um, but they didn't look too great. So we only got one pack of raspberries this week. We have some mushrooms. Uh, that's the other pack of the tomatoes. Uh, some sugar snap peas. These were also on the special buy this week. Some more bananas. Um, we've got a bag of sweet pears and also six of the royal gala apples a cucumber and some brown onions that were on special buy this week i don't have much room in the freezer at the moment so i didn't actually get too much in the frozen section apart from these these are the lemon and herb bassa fillets these are five smart points each on the ww plan and i think we're going to give these a go for um one dinner this week so for fresh meat this week, I also didn't get too much because we do have a little bit in the freezer. So we've just got some lean bacon medallions as I'm going to be doing a bacon pesto pasta dish. And also some chicken breast mini fillets as two of our dishes this week is going to involve chicken. Um, so I will split this one, um, use one probably tonight and then manage to fit the other half in the freezer hopefully. A couple of tins, so we've got a, a chicken potato and leek soup. This is showing as three smart points on the WW plan. However, it's sometimes worth scanning these as they don't always have the right labeling on, I've noticed before. I'm also going to be making a chili, so we've got some mixed beans in water. We have some green lentils in water, a tin of sweet corn, some of the hot dogs in brine, and we're also running a little bit short on rice, so I picked up another basmati rice. A big family pack of the crisps, so this is 18 packs of the onion rings, cheese puffs and the bacon rashers. These are really cheap actually, I'll pop the price on the screen because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, really good for the children, this will last us absolutely ages. Another good buy that I found uh, was one of these big tubs of crunchy peanut butter. This was only 3 99 on the special buys this week. Onto the bread section, we do still have a little bit left, uh, but I picked up one of the 50-50 loaves, some of the chocolate chip brioche rolls for the children, um, a couple of the super seeded folded flatbreads. I do like these for lunch. They also make um, really good sort of pizzas. And then some of the mini wraps also for the children. I also picked up some of these sausage rolls. These were on offer. I do for the children to have as like a little snack or also alongside like a sandwich for lunch time. Then moving over to sort of dairy section, I've got some grated mozzarella uh, for the children to make their pizzas. They generally have that sort of once a week. They have some more of the cheese triangles. And this week I picked them up some of the double delights. This is the raspberry and vanilla flavor. Over in the back, I managed to get hold of some of this. I've seen it on Instagram. So this is the American style cream soda, no added sugar. I do really like cream soda, so I'm quite excited to give this one a try. I also saw on someone's post that the Vive ZX Cola was worth giving a shot. So I've got six cans of these and then six cans of the Diet Cola to try as well. We have one of the fake Muller Rices, the vanilla custard flavor. Um, these are for the children for this evening, three chocolate trifles to try. And then we've got the usual reduced fat soft cheese. I really like this at the moment on top of rye vita with some cucumber and ham for breakfast. And some of the Greek 0% fat yogurts. I also picked up a couple of these. These are the little snacks chocolate flavor that go in the fridge. I normally get the Milky Bar or the Nestle ones, but these are the Aldi version. And then for sandwich meat this week, we just have 14 slices of the cooked ham and some of the roast turkey breast slices. I also picked up two of the Brooklyn protein pots. I got the vanilla and the strawberry one. I'm not sure I've actually had these ones at all, um, but I will give them a go. 
some of the almond unsweetened milk which I use for cereals and porridge mainly and then for coffees and things we've got the skim milk and the children have the whole milk so we've got four pints of both of those we needed some more butter so I picked up the Norpak lighter and then we also were running slightly low on the lighter than light mayonnaise so I grabbed one of these uh, then we've just got a couple of snacks just to keep in the cupboard really i picked up some more of the mini chocolate chip cookies these are only four smart points per pack on the ww plan of course i got some more of my favorites the caxton pink and whites these are only two smart points each the children just have some custard they quite often have this for dessert um just with some banana chopped up they also have some of the groovy biscuits. However, I've had these before. They're actually really good. These are six smart points each on the WW plan. We have some of the Aldi's own version fiber one bars, the salted caramel squares. These are four smart points. And of course, um, an alternative to the Alpen bars, the Aldi version, the Harvest Morn Benefit bars. This is the Jaffa flavor, which I picked up, which are two smart points. We have some Aldi version of Weetabix just over there. I also needed quite a few cleaning bits and some washing powder. So I picked up a deodorant for my other half. I also saw this, which um, I've never seen before anywhere else. So this is surface cleanser concentrate, and this makes four of the normal size spray bottles. So we've got a couple of the old bottles lying around. So I got this, this was only 99p. Um, so hopefully this will be good because this will save us some money in the future. I got another uh, jumbo kitchen towel. Just some shampoo and conditioner. I went for the shampoo for dry hair one. I got a family pack of the non-bio laundry liquid. This does 42 washes and also some of the Amazo Soft Pure and Gentle. And then I also got some of the all-in-one Shine and Clean. I use this for the bathroom and also for our floors. I just pop it into my spray mop diluted and I found it's really good for cleaning those. This is in the fresh blossom flavor. I then also picked up some of the biodegradable extra gentle face wipes. We've got two packs of the baby wipes. And then finally, I picked up these as well, just to keep in the fridge for the children. These are the Maltese's mini bunnies. Uh, they had loads of the Easter stuff out and these are only 99p. So that is everything I got from Aldi this week. Like I said, this came to 70 pounds altogether. Uh, I do feel like I got a really good amount for the money and this should feed me and my family for the whole week. I haven't been to Aldi in such a long time. Um, we've just been getting shopping delivered, but I thought I would brave it and it wasn't too bad to be fair. Um, it was a Sunday that I went on and most people were being sensible, so kind of staying two meters apart where possible. So I'm just gonna pop this all away now and then I will show you what meals we're having this week. So on Monday, we are going to have chicken breast burgers and fries from the freezer. On Tuesday, we're going to have the basset fillets with some new potatoes and some green vegetables. On Wednesday, I'm going to do some Mayflower chicken curry with egg fried rice. Thursday, we're going to have a lentil spaghetti bolognese. I do have some pasta sauce in the freezer that I made in a previous meals of the week. Um, so I'm going to be using half of that for the lentil spaghetti bolognese. On Friday, we're going to have some bacon pesto pasta and I'll probably throw in some green beans um, and some sweet corn, maybe some mushrooms into that. On Saturday, I'm going to use the leftover red pepper pasta sauce that I haven't used in the spaghetti bolognese and turn it into a chilli. We have some leftover beef mince in the freezer and I have a tin of mixed beans to use as well. And then Sunday, um, I'll be doing shopping again. So we'll either be having some leftovers, whatever we have left in the fridge or freezer, or we'll be getting something new um, depending on what time I go shopping. So that is our meal plan for this week.